Hey guys, I'm starting out with my hair in a heatless blowout. I use the same technique from my heatless blowout video, but on freshly washed hair instead of old hair. I first deep conditioned my hair for 45 minutes using my new favorite DIY recipe, which I'll link here and in the description box. After rinsing out the deep conditioner, I gave my hair a thorough cleansing using the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo to really clear away the product buildup. And then of course, after that, I conditioned again using the Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner to replenish the moisture. This time, I didn't seal with an oil. I just coated my hair in pure aloe vera juice using my spray bottle, detangled each section with my Denman brush, applied this heat protectant and leave-in by Giovanni that I found at my local Whole Foods, and applied my curling rods to set my hair for my heatless blowout. You can click the video link for more details on that technique. Okay, so I'm just gonna part my hair and section it into two large halves. Rolling up the sleeves cause I know this is gonna be work. And I'm splitting that larger half into three smaller sections to make it more manageable and organized. I apply a bit of the heat protectant and frizz taming serum by Giovanni all over the section I'm gonna work on. And no, this isn't sponsored. I'm just using this because I found it locally and it's a trusted brand. Also, I really wanna make sure that my hair is protected since I'm using heat. So I'm venturing out and using products that I normally wouldn't. So grabbing a small section at a time, I begin to flat iron. Oh, and I'm using the Babyliss iron for this. I've got two. The blue one on the right is a trusty nano titanium that everyone raves about. So I had to pick it up because I knew it would work in a clutch. But I also saw this Babyliss Pro steam iron that caught my eye and I picked it up to give it a try. But when testing it out, I really didn't like how the steam was released. It was more like puddles than steam. So I decided to just go back to the titanium. I also gave the comb chase method a try. Not really that great at it, but I tried. Look, I haven't flat ironed in half a decade, okay? You gotta give me some slack here. Okay, so I just comb out the section and flat iron the hair. And I just kept grabbing small sections at a time, combing it out and flat ironing it down. So I wanted to try and stick with a low temperature of 340 degrees. You know, this was my first time flat ironing my hair in five years, so I didn't want to overdo it. I wanted to test the waters first. As I continued straightening, I found my sections getting smaller and smaller. I was just getting a better set with tinier sections. I also noticed that the flat iron seemed to get hotter the longer it was used. So just keep that in mind. You may have to start pulling the hair through faster. After a while, it started getting really hot in my bathroom, so I curled my hair loosely just to get it off my neck. I didn't want to sweat out my hair before I even finished. So I just kept straightening in tiny sections, and as you can see, I lost the comb. <laughs> Totally not a fan of the comb chase method, I'm sorry. And then it started getting really fun. Psych, this was taking forever. And I was sweating up a storm. Okay, yeah, I had to get out of there. Hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna do this on my couch. It was way too hot. Back in the bathroom to finish off the last sections and remove the rollers. And that's it. I was a little shocked, a little taken aback, but this was a lot of hair and I wasn't used to having it all completely stretched out, but I liked it. I didn't get a super sleek look, but I don't think it's a flat iron's fault. My hair is really thick, so I wasn't really surprised that the hair was lacking in movement. It was just too much hair. 
and I don't think raising the temperature would help in this situation. It's just how my hair type reacts to being straightened. But regardless, I liked it. Personally, after having straightened my hair, I know I prefer it curly or in a twist out. Not because of how it looks, but how it reacts. When my hair is curly or in a twist out, it's still thick, but it's easier to maintain because the curls or twist out sections clump together, creating a little bit of order. With straight hair, all the individual strands are flying around solo, wisping in every different direction, making it a pain to keep organized, especially with my length and thickness. I think with shorter hair, it would be more manageable, but not with long thick hair. So I definitely know now that I prefer my curls or a twist out, but again, it was nice to have the change for a bit. So at night, I smoothed my hair with a bit of argan oil and I wrapped it around my head, securing the hair with large bobby pins. And the next day, I unwrapped my hair to <laughs> womp womp, <laughs> lackluster results. Meh. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it the second day. So that night I twisted it up for a sweet twist out, which was much easier to control throughout the day. And I liked how it looked better. Anyway, a little good, a little fail, but the experience was still fun and I learned something new about my hair. I'll probably try this again and see if I can get better results. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it helped. I'll see you next time. Click the box to the left to see how I shape my eyebrows. I share two super easy ways to get the perfect brow every time. And if you like daily vlogs, stop by my vlog channel and say hi. Links to the right. I'll see you guys there. Woohoo! So I'm giving myself a side part and I'm adding a bit more dimension to my hair using...